Hey, hey, how's it going everybody? It's Matt here from Matt Cards. So today we're gonna carve a really cool design uh, that I had nothing to do with uh, making. Yes, that's right. I actually got sent it by a subscriber, Mark Anthony, who lives in New Zealand on the Kapiti Coast, which is the North Island. I'm in the South Island. Uh, but he sent me this, contacted me, and he said, would you like a drawing to put on your table? And I said, yeah, man, this is really cool. And he sent me sort of like images of what he was gonna do and look really cool. He's an amazing drawer and uh, so let's open this. Okay. Okay, he's actually sent me two, but I'm only gonna do one this week and I might save the other one. So check this out, this is awesome, man. So uh, it's a dragon in the middle and sort of like a Celtic design on the outside, which is really, really cool. I think you're gonna really test me on this one though, Mark, because like these, these uh, are really close together, man. So we're just gonna do, we're gonna carve this one in the middle today, and on another date, we're gonna carve the outside, and we'll do that other drawing another day uh, when I have a little bit more time. But yeah, really looking forward to doing this. This is gonna be a challenge, but it's gonna be good. Okay, so we've just taken a quick photocopy of it, cut it down a little bit so it fits into that place on the table. Decided to put it there, and I'm gonna put some little marks on the table so I know once I take this off, uh, I know next time when I'm gonna do the outside, I know where to exactly put the drawing again. So when I trace it, it will come out exactly where it's supposed to. So there it is, uh, trace it on. I spared you the tedious nature of me tracing somebody else's uh, amazing drawing. So uh, I went in with this sort of like cutter here and it was really kind of tearing up the wood and it was working really well, but uh, it sort of just sort of like teared up the wood. So I, I persisted with that for a little bit and then I went on to the Dremel Diamond Bear and pretty much I kind of stuck with this most of the carving and uh, I went back to that cutter just to get into some real sort of skinny bits in the middle but uh, really stuck to that diamond bird, it just worked really really well. Okay so you'll notice in that clip I was carving a lot that way and the reason for that is because the burr is spinning down onto the wood so you don't get as much tear out and it seems to be actually be a lot easier to control and maneuver if you're going that way as well so when you get tear out it's actually because the burr is going the other way from what i'm demonstrating there and so it's sort of coming like along like that and the burr is going around and pulling up on the wood and so it's sort of like pushes it up and uh, out of the wood. Okay, so I've gone back to that little narrow cutter to do the eyes and all the details in the dragon's head and those internal parts. You can see all those lines, they're pretty close together and it's quite confusing. So uh, just take your time if you're doing something like this. Uh, it's always good to mark on uh, which is the parts you want to take down and which are the parts you want to leave up if you get what I mean Okay, so I always find it easier to do these kind of real details with two hands on the Dremel one is your usual stance and you're sort of like holding it with your right hand if you're right-handed and then go in with the other hand so you're sort of like acting on four axes and your hands are sort of on the table as well. So that provides sort of stability for you. You might have a different method and that's cool. Uh, just you, you know, use what works, man, and use what works. So here I am and you can see I've actually redrawn some of the lines uh, and just colored in a few pieces because I didn't really want to mess up and uh, take down the wrong parts. And uh, that's always um, a bit of a problem because you cannot fix them up well maybe you could anyway I didn't make a mistake awesome okay so pretty much now I'm going in and I'm just cleaning up all the lines and making them a little bit deeper 
and just taking my time, just going around and smoothing everything out. Okay, so when you're gonna uh, do a circle, I'm doing the inner circle here, act like a compass, you know, have a pivot point, which is your hand on there, and just slowly go around there, and you should come up with a nice circle. Going in here with the Cutsall Sphere Bird, I clean up those little bits there. Okay, Joe, so check this out. I've got the world's smallest disc sander. Here it is, uh, one of the discs for my sander, and it goes on the Dremel on a little bit of velcro which has got a bit of sponge on you have to run at really low speed or else it flies off but it's really good for this kind of stuff because uh, you just want to like take the dragon down a little bit and clean up it's all of all the pencil marks and the old grunge that's left on the dragon so that's what i'm doing there i didn't film this very well because all you see is my hand okay so i'm just putting this tape on to protect the outside of the carving from this black wax that I'm putting on. It's uh, actually dark oak wax. It's called black bison wax polish. Having a bit of trouble getting into it. Anyway, okay, so it smells quite funky, but the smell does go away after about three days. I kind of like the smell. Uh, anyway, it goes away after three days, so it's all good. I don't think it's bad for you, but don't quote me on that. What you want to do is you want to work it into those little grooves and all of that kind of stuff and get in there. Then you wipe it off with a paper towel and it just looks awesome. It looks antique, looks Viking-like. Yes. Anyway, hey, Mark, thank you for sending me this drawing. It's been a challenge, but I think I've done it justice. I hope I have anyway. Uh, yeah, big ups to you, man. They're awesome drawings. Okay, so if you could hit the like button if you've uh, enjoyed this video and you've found a few tips in it. Or if you're feeling flush, you could buy me a coffee in the link below. You don't have to, it's all good. Just, you know, watch the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Over and out. We'll do the outside of the carving very soon.